That's naked. What's that? That's naked. Oh, naked. See, from here to here. Why is that? Reach. Find a nice sprig. Although this one had some bug munching on it. Mmm. Mm. Looks like a leaf cutter bee, because leaf cutter bees have that round round incision. And uh, that's a good good specimen. Mmm. Make some tea out of this. Ow! Serves me right. Hi. <laughs> so, um, Nicole would like me to show you how to press plant. Um, so, you're the intrepid botanical explorer in the wilds of Sumatra, and you come across your specimens. And one of the first things you have to do is press it in such a way that conveys what the plant looks like and in this case it's a vine we have to sort of bend it to the size of of the notebook but also we want to make sure that the bottom of the leaves are preserved as much as the top is and that's important because you know there might be some identifying feature in the plant that's on the underside of the leaves and when it goes to a museum and it's permanently mounted the person doing the mount mounting needs to be able to um, to preserve and mount the, un the underside as well as the top. And you're done. Notice how we're collecting whole twigs and segments that represent the whole piece of the plant. Now we're gonna go press these. And actually, I should probably start up from the bottom up. This, I have no clue what it is. It's really spiny. And then you take this, put it in your pack, <clears throat> and you go back to camp and you put it in an actual plant press with your immaculate detailed notes about where you collected it. This is Celtis pallida, or uh, hackberry, desert hackberry, and interestingly, it's in the family Cannabaceae. I'll let you figure that one out. Produces really delicious berries for birds, and it's really thorny. So it's like one of the ultimate bird plants because they can nest in it. It's really thorny, and it produces lots of tasty fruit which are high in oil. It's one of my favorite desert plants. But, uh, you know, it's not one to fall onto. Not a good one to trip next to. This is, this is ironwood tree. Olnea tesota. Mesquite, ironwood, and Palo Verde. Those are the main trees of the Sonoran Desert. They're all legumes. They're, that means they're beans. They produce bean pods. And they're high in nitrogen because the be beans are high in nitrogen. They fix nitrogen in the soil. It's uh, been used by the Seri Indians to make really beautiful carvings, famously beautiful carvings. It's really long-lived and really dense hardwood. There's been some concern about over-harvesting ironwood. Because it's such a great burning wood.
Got nice purple flowers. Got nice purple flowers. <laughs>